We've had a wee look, you've got a couple of wee lesions in your, your abdomen that are bleeding. You're a wee bit worried about them, aren't you? Until recently, this sort of procedure would be carried out by a doctor. 1% lignocin for adrenaline. But as a specialist surgical nurse, Marie Stein is treating patients. It helps cut waiting lists. I was told that um, there was advanced nurse practitioners who could do minor surgeries, otherwise we would be waiting a lot longer. So I've not had long to wait at all, and she's been absolutely fantastic. So you let me know at all if there's anything that's sharp. It took five years of training, but Marie now has the skills to do things like minor surgery and biopsies. I think it's very important for nurses that they're given the opportunity and that there shouldn't be a barrier that they're a nurse and not a doctor. We are being trained by the consultants um, and the, su the, the surgeons in Brest, and they, they uh, depend and rely on us now, I think. Waiting times across Scotland are at record highs, and hospitals continue to have to prioritise care. Despite efforts to upskill staff, they say the next few months will not be easy. We're all anxious about the winter that we're coming into because it's been a very difficult two years and trying to keep scheduled care and, and planned um, operating and clinics going is a challenge and it's a bit of a juggling act between trying to make sure we've got enough resource and staff at a time where we've got unprecedented shortages and challenges in our staffing. Dean Barriman is also a surgical nurse working in neurology beside consultant Joby Taylor. Since he started doing vasectomies and circumcision, waiting times have dropped from around a year to less than 12 weeks. You know, first and foremost, I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for 22 years. Uh, I love my job. I don't want to be a doctor or a surgeon, and, and that, that wasn't what I wanted to do. It's made a big difference for us. Dean has been able to work through and bring down our waiting times, so it's been a massive benefit, both in terms of our routine waiting lists and helping us free up more time for cancer targets and other things. Just last month, the government set targets to end the longest waits for treatment. Forth Valley says it will meet those deadlines, but most other health boards could not guarantee they would. The health secretary says good progress is being made. The target is to eradicate uh, those two-year waits for outpatients for most specialities. So let's see uh, how we get along uh, down that road. Let's make sure the data is quality assured. That's going to be really important. Back at Forth Valley Royal Hospital, and Anne Bain is benefiting from a new type of technology to improve access to treatment. Slightly abrasive it becomes, it only takes seconds for it to come out. Less invasive than an endoscopy, patients swallow a small pill-like device that collects cells from the esophagus. Well, I usually take uh, an injection so it, you kind of sleep through it, so you've got to lie afterwards and you're really a bit not well for the rest of the day or uncomfortable for the rest of the day. So this was quick and I feel fine. It means that we can prioritise those so that they're not taking up slots for um, therapeutic or sort of cancer patients that need to be seen by endoscopy. It enables us to keep waiting lists down and getting back on top of our waiting lists because obviously through the pandemic we've, we've kind of had a hit with a lot of our, our waiting list times. And if you can open up nice and wide... New technology will also help speed up access to treatment, but the NHS continues to face unprecedented demand. Lisa Summers, BBC News.